she the chosen one. She the reason that the king never had a son. She Joe's daughter. She the reason for it all. She the natural order. Inspire people to be better. Um, and I just, I just want to make tight shit. <laughs> I just want to make tight shit and inspire people to be better. Um, I remember like when I was a kid. Um, I didn't really know like what I was gonna do or like where my life was headed or you know I mean whole time like I knew who I wanted to be and what I wanted but I didn't really feel like it was attainable you know it didn't really seem feasible and so um, now you know that I'm an adult and like I can see um, I can see like how much closer I am than I, than I ever thought I would be to you know the things I saw for myself as a kid, but I didn't think I I could actually have me. Um, I just want to inspire people, you know, to to be the, the, their best selves. Um, and hopefully, you know, people can see me and like skip that se skip that step. Um, that 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 phase of like doubt um because you know who know i mean i don't have no regrets you know but like i guess just for the sake of answering the question you know who knows where i would have been where i'd be if i if i didn't doubt myself for so long you know i could i could have been so much further you know i mean i'm right where i need to be but I just want to inspire people to, to skip that skip that step of doubt. And I want to make dope shit, you know, and make my family proud. And make dope shit. <laughs> and that, that, that's it, man. I just live my life. That's it. I think that's what I want. I guess that's what my streams are. The title of the book is uh, Job's Daughter, The Adventures of Trail Easy. And, um, well, the title, Joe's Daughter, uh, my dad, my dad's name is Ayu, and, um, Ayu is Arabic for Job, uh, you know, uh, Job in the Quran is Ayu, um, but you know, um, not a lot of people know, you know, Ayu, you know, Job, you know, people know who Job is, um, and, and what he went through. So I named the book Job's Daughter, um, you know, cause it's, I think it's, I guess it's like an ode to my dad. Um, and as far as uh, Trill Yeezy, the subtitle, um, well, my my name my name is Adaya, um, and a lot of people a lot of people couldn't say my name, um, they couldn't pronounce it, and so like the Ya at the end of my name, they just people just started calling me Yaya. Um, and then from that, that kind of evolved into Yeezy, like some people call me Yeezy, um, and so, you know, I don't know, I guess True Yeezy just came somehow, <laughs> and so, um, the adventure of True Yeezy, cause you know, it's, um, it's about, it's, the book is about my life, you know, um, it's formatted in, um, poems and short stories, and so, uh, it, it just tells my life um, chronologically, really. Um, so, you know, it's the adventures of me. I think maybe I always wanted to write a book. Um, but for a long time, like, maybe I thought that I couldn't, you know? And then 
two years ago, I was like, uh, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna do it, you know? Um, and so I started getting poems together, and I really, you know, I couldn't get it. Like, I, it just it just wasn't working, and I kept trying here and there, and it just, it, you know, it wasn't working. And, um, and this past year, you know, I had, I had went through a lot of things. Um, I had a lot of uh, turbulence, and um, that inspired more poems. And then, you know, I was reading the poems one day, and I was like, okay, well, you know, this is a story now, full circle. And I think, you know, over that time period, uh, those two years, I, it kept feeling incomplete, and that's why I... I couldn't, I couldn't just go with it. Like, oh, this is, this is an anthology. But I think maybe deep down I wanted to do something more than an anthology. I think I, I wanted to tell a story. Um, and so once I felt like I had that, I was like, all right, fuck it, you know, I'm gonna do it now. And I felt like I had a story to tell. So. Okay. It's definitely new. Um, up until recently, uh, I never wrote any of my poems down. I I was just doing that shit like off the top of my head, you know, because it was performance, for, you know, it was, and it was more wordplay. Like, um, and I my father is a rapper, uh, and so like that's how I learned how to write poems from like him writing rhymes. So my approach to shit was a lot different, you know. Um, then I guess my peers. Um, I was never really, really a literary poet. You know, I was just, to be honest, I just had to get the guy, and I, I just was. I was just capable of manipulating words, you know. Um, and then once I decided that I, I no longer wanted to be a performance poet. Um, I was like, okay, well now what am I gonna do? You know, because people aren't going to see me perform. You know, how are they gonna get a hold of my words? So I was like, all right, well I gotta write now. I gotta write and I gotta make the shit I write translate well on paper. You know, it just can't be, you know, me bobbing and weaving, you know, anymore. It gotta, it has to. It has to read well. <laughs> and so, from there, um, and I think that's what, I know that that's what solidified um, me wanting to have the book be more of a story than just an anthology, because um, I wanted to make it worth my while as well, because, um, you know, I may not ever exactly be a literary uh, writer, you know, uh, or I guess some um, proper, you know, you know, whatever, all of that. I don't care, you know. <laughs> I, I just want to, um, I just want to tell my story. I just want to, I just want to make it sound good. I am no longer performing poetry. Um, I'm in a band now. Um, so I've been writing songs for about as long as I've been writing poems. Um, and so that transition was easy, you know, from performance poetry to you know being in a band, um, writing songs, singing them um, with my bandmates. Um, and, you know, really, uh, me writing the poems down and have, being, me being unattainable now as a performance poet, it makes my life a lot better than being in a band, you know, I don't know if that answers the question, um, because it just feels like a new chapter in my life, you know? Like, if you want to hear, I mean, if you want to get a hold of my poetry, you have to buy a book, you know? And if you want to see me perform, you have to listen to music now. Um, and I, I'm, I feel good about that transition.
I'm living my life, you know. They call me Yahweh, they call me Yahweh, niggas call me God to my face, they call me Yahweh, they call me Yahweh, they call me Yahweh, niggas call me God to my face, say, say that shit gray, say that shit gray, say that shit gray, they call me Yahweh. <laughs> Uh, what kind of impact do you think people might take away from reading a book? Honestly, I just want people to feel like they can do anything, you know? Um, I mean, know, know, know that they can do anything. Because um, I mean, like, the, the, the book is, is, is really just about all the shit that I've been through and look I'm still here you know and um if uh that if people could read that and just take away you can do anything <laughs> you can do anything I mean I, that that's that's what I want people to take away from this book is uh, you can do anything um, it's all good in the end it's all good in the end so.